he loves her. He loves her. Tawang is like his his own baby. It was in the year 1951. A Manipuri army officer took charge of a small team of Indian soldiers and marched towards Tawang. He took control over the area, hoisted the tricolor flag, and put Tawang on the map of India. That incredible man is none other than Raleigh Nau Khating, popularly known as Bob Khating. This rare personality was born in 1912 at Ukrul in Manipur. He was exceptionally bright and studious. He became the first tribal from Manipur to graduate. Let us know more about him from his family members. So your father, he came. He comes from Ukrul, a small town in Manipur. So how do you think that he might have managed coming out of Manipur, getting this much of achievements in his life? Because at that time there was no communication. So how was he as a person? Was he very Oh, no. uh, uh, that's true. He came from a rather remote uh, part of Northeast uh, India, but you know this is where perhaps I would uh, consider that education makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And then when he he went to school in there, he was encouraged to go for, 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 uh, for high school and you know middle school and high school. And for that, it was not all in Ukrul because you, you had only up to a certain class in Ukrul. Then for the for middle class, you had to go to uh, to the valley. Then for the high school, you had to again go to another state to Assam. Mm -hmm. Then so over for all that, but yet he pursued that, and his father also encouraged that. And since he did well, he, he earned scholarships throughout. Mm -hmm. So he didn't depend on his, on his home on that. So, but by going out and getting educated, you, your mind uh, broadens, mm -hmm. and then you you then start realizing that your your area, your your feel of your life is not necessarily. Just located in your own village, that way. Yes, you you're concerned about them. You love your people, but then your your mind and spread is open to all. And that's why perhaps that was the openness where it's okay. If I'm required to go out and fight for my country, and I go right across the country to join the armed forces, I will. So you don't know. I'll, I'll not just stay back in my hometown and look after agricultural thing. But no, I will go out and do it because that's what education. That's to you because you have an open mind, and yeah, I, I think that was what then led him to go out. Huh. As a young student, also he was very bright. So he throughout his schooling and throughout his uh, college graduation, he was always on a merit scholarship. So he chose the love for education that he had. He was a self-made man, okay. self-made person, and uh, his father was a teacher. Okay. So that uh, and a very holy, I mean, a religious person. So he was brought up in that line. His elder brother uh, helped him a lot and you know, supported him for his education. And as a young student, also he was very bright. So he throughout his schooling and throughout his uh, college graduation, he was always on a merit scholarship. So he chose the love for education that he had. So that way, there was no problem for that. Khating was also the first Manipuri to join the King's Commission during the World War II and was awarded the Military Cross and received the Member of British Empire for his exemplary service and bravery. Because after the war, he was in the army for quite some time, but he was requested very strongly by the people of Manipur, especially his own community, to return to Manipur, quit the army and return to do something for them. After a lot of persuasion, he okay, he quit, and he joined the interim government of Manipur, which was the Royal Darbar, because the kingdom was there. So he was there, 49, that was in 47, 1947. 1949, Manipur became a part of the Indian Union. So the assembly was dissolved. So that way, from that time onwards, 1950, he got into the, I mean, the government of India suddenly realized that, okay, we have not done justice to him, maybe they must have thought that. Mm -hmm. And they gave him to posting in Sadi as the assistant commandant of the second mm -hmm. Assam Rifles. And since then he's been with the government and never worked in Manipur. He was never posted in Manipur. Oh, he, he never. Not not with Manipur, but he was always outside the state. He was in been in Nefa many years, then Nagaland. He was in Nagaland also. These were the two places that he was mainly for administration purpose. And finally, of course, he retired as chief secretary from Nagaland. 
and before retirement he became the Indian ambassador to Burma. So he was totally out. But in a ad hoc capacity, he did. He, the government of Manipur did uh, appoint him for certain those normal commissions and other things that were there. And for a short time in 1980, uh, Manipur was under the president's rule, so he was taken as one of the advisors. Otherwise, work-wise, in the administration of Manipur, no, he never worked. One thing is he was always supportive in whatever you, you did. He, he never, he will guide and might say, he might suggest something, but he, he never, he will say, no, you should do this or you should do that, and he must do this and that. Uh, whether it's in studies or whether it's in career, choice of careers. And such. And see, for me, I went to a science stream. Uh, not, not necessarily that I love science or something like that, but uh, whereas he was perhaps hoping that I'll also join civil service. But since my brother has joined civil service, I said, okay, I'll, but he didn't, my father didn't say it, you know, go ahead and do that. And he was quite proud that I went that and did fairly well there. He was very proud of that and encouraged me. So that way he gave us full, he, he let us, um, you know, learn for ourselves also, you know, not, not spoon feed us. That, that's why even now you know, we, we feel quite confident in what we do. Yes, we may, we have challenges, we make mistakes, but we are confident, okay, we will we'll overcome. Because that's the spirit he taught us that, okay, we'll have challenges, so, so what? Go ahead yeah. and just face them. That's the thing. Yeah. As a father again, he never uh, spared anything. If we wanted something, he always was there to give us. He, was, he, had, he gave us the full support for whatever we wanted. So that way, we liked him a lot, we loved him a lot, and he also loved the children a lot. We have four, two brothers, two sisters, and he made sure that uh, we were looked after well, we had what we wanted to. At times it was difficult, because his postings were in different places. In the old days, you know, Nefa days, so there were hardly anything available at that point of time. But in spite of that, he knew what we needed, he made sure that it was not extra, mm -hmm. nothing fantastic anything of that sort. But the basic thing that was required of us, he gave. You know, he made it available to us. As a multifaceted personality, he was also a composer and a poet. He was credited for composing and writing the anthem of his tribe. He was also an environmentalist who loved nature and lived by it, as he loved fishing and gardening. He loved fishing. Oh, he loves fishing. Yeah. And he loves gardening too. He loved his orchids. Mm -hmm. He had a good uh, number of different species of orchids which he would grow and they would do very well because he's got green fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what he loved was fishing. So, so you can see in some of the pictures, you know, in uh, the last time that we came in 85, okay. the Dirang okay, like River. It. Yeah, he was able to go do some fishing there. He was so happy. <laughs> Major Bob Cutting is believed to have started on an arduous journey from Charduar with a team of Assam Rifle soldiers and reached Tawang on 6 February 1951, establishing Indian presence up to the extent of the McMohan Line, which was demarcated as the border between India and Tibet in 1914 under the terms of the Shimla Treaty. So, ma'am, uh, your name, your name has Sela in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, Sela is a very important peak in, uh, in Tawang and Arunachal. Okay. So, and then, how did this name? Is it is it for, because of Tawang or is it something else from Manipur? No, it's all because Daddy loves Tawang and Bomdila. It's always been his, you know, it's a passion for him. You know, he his love. And um, what happened in 1955 was with him throughout. I'm uh, sorry, 1951 was him with him throughout. And uh, you know, when I was born in '53, he named me Sela just in memory of what had happened because he, his love for Tawang and Bamila is very, very great. And it's, it stayed till the end of his life. He loves Tawang. He loves Tawang. Tawang is like his, his own baby. And Tawang, um, from beginning right throughout his life, no matter where he was posted, part of his heart was that Tawang was there all the time. And so we knew that. That's why, uh, you know, they, today they recall so when he heard that Tawang had fallen, mm -hmm. he was posted out and he could, he could have been, he just stayed on in Sikkim and gone up to me wherever. But no, I'll go back. That's my people. I want to go back to, to be with them. So that is his love. So that love permeated to us. 
for Tawang. Do we, we didn't know Tawang personally that closely because we are very we are children only. But somehow it was as if Tawang was also our home. Not you know it's, it's like as if we we, you know, we were born in a certain place, but suddenly we had shifted somewhere else. So we still remember our hometown is there. We know about it, but we've not been there. My our parents know about it, so it's like that. So we felt that 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 bond, uh, you know, unspoken is inside. But so somehow we didn't have. A, uh, we did try to come to Hong. In fact, I did come. Did try once, but I got, I, I drove up to Bomdilang uh, with my family. Um, then because it was snowing, the, it was ice. Our car started skidding and such. So we turned back from Bomdilang. Um, this is just about uh, ten years ago. And then, so that's how we couldn't make it because I wanted to bring my family here. Yeah, but uh, this gave us such a wonderful opportunity to come here, and then my entire family could come and join. We are so happy. Then he used to mention also that Tawang was a beautiful place. Problems were there, but everything was resolved because the people were so cooperative. It was Arunachal Pradesh government under the leadership of Chief Minister Pema Khandu who took the initiative to recognize the contributions of the unsung hero. The state government also awarded Arunachal Ratna award to Major Bob Khating. So now, sir, you come to Tawang, and uh, the people of Tawang they still remember Bob Khating. So, uh, what kind of feeling you get here when you're here? Though? No, no, that is something which I think is really fantastic. It's too good. This gesture, which I mentioned this morning, said the gesture from I said the government of Arunachal, but it would be the people of uh, Tawang, the land of Mon. This is something fantastic, which. We were so surprised when the CM contacted and told that this was happening and we are going to do this. So I was so shocked. I just didn't find words, but I had to say thank you. And it's so good of you to have thought of this. Because he is the only one who has thought of it. The early question of yours, whether anything has been done in, uh, in Manipur or anything. Nothing has been done so far, okay, by the, by the state government. But yes, the Assam Rifles posted in Ukrul, his, own, his hometown. They are building a statue. That is more or less complete and they are going to erect that statue. So they have been in touch with me to uh, locate and f give a place for them. That also I have contacted the village authorities because we don't have any land in Ukhul. But uh, they have agreed. I had asked for a certain space but uh, yesterday they rang up. You know, and they didn't realize that we were the site. But then they told that uh, what had been promised earlier they were giving a bigger space now. So that is going to be done soon. Many people are not aware of that and there might be many reasons given for that uh, lack of awareness about the, the, the story behind Tawang. Um, even now across the country or across the region, just in, in the northeast itself, hardly anybody, many people don't know mm -hmm. about it. So, so we don't blame. So it's, it, because they're still not aware, if people are not aware, then you don't expect them to do something about something you don't know about. And here, then we are, we are so happy and grateful that you know, President CM, mm -hmm. uh, he, 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 he read about it, he started learning about it, and then he took steps about it, not, not just said, okay, a wonderful thing happened, that's it. So that's where we are very, very grateful to him. The Kathing family will always be, um, will always love the people of Tawang and Bomzila, and that we'll always consider them as family, okay? And that we'll always wish, especially the young ones, all the best in life. They've got to work hard. Whatever they dream, they have to fulfill their dreams because life is not easy. We have to strive, but we should not give up, okay? Because um, it is life, you know, all of us have, we all um, have to go through these ups and downs of life. If there are no ups and downs, we'll never be the people, the strong people that we are today. It is because of the thorns in our lives that we become stronger. So we wish the people of Arunachal, especially the young people, all the very best. And whatever you wish to do in life, go for it. Don't give up easily because there's always something out there. You know, everything might seem dark, but there's a light out there. And you just proceed towards the light and soon everything will be fine. Just be strong and keep going. That's what I would like to uh, tell to the people of Arunachal 
and in particular to the Chief Minister Barangata, we want to say thank you so, so very much sir, for doing what you're doing. We just cannot express our gratitude. The feelings that we have for what you're doing, it's just so amazing, so beautiful. And thank you again, sir. Thank you. The foundation stone of the memorial was laid on the day Major Khating hoisted the tricolor in Tawang. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu, Retired Governor Brigadier Dr. B.D. Mishra, Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma, Union Minister of State for Sports and Youth Affairs Kiran Rijiju, Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, and family members of Khating were present on the occasion. Major Bob Khating is relatively an unknown figure for most of India and even parts of Arunachal Pradesh. But people in Tawang still remember him with utmost respect for establishing Indian control over the area where the threat of China loomed. And it is high time that this son of India receives the recognition that he deserves.